We want to solve this equation and I want to make sure that you do this one the right way. It is such a commonly missed type of question. So the very first thing that you might want to do, and you would be correct, is to subtract three from both sides. If we do this, we end up with just the 4x squared on one side and the x on the other side. Now the next step that you might be tempted to take is dividing both sides by x. Let's say that you did this. That would mean that you could cancel an x from the left-hand side, leaving us with a 4x on the left. On that right-hand side, we've got x divided by x, which would be 1. To finish this off, you would divide both sides by 4, and we end up with x equals 1 fourth. But this is only half of the solution. So where did we go wrong? Let's unwind what we did and go back to this step. Here we divided by a variable and we did not know what the value was. But what if x was equal to zero? Okay, if that was the case, and I said, hey, at this step, let's divide by zero, some huge red flags should go off in your head, right? Because division by zero is illegal, it's undefined, which means that we would not find a solution here. So instead, we're gonna look at this degree two equation, either in our simplified form or in our original form, and here is such a wonderful clue that's gonna help you get to the right answer. This is degree two. When we've got a degree two equation, degree two meaning the highest degree, that means that we've got two possible solutions. We only found one. So we do not want to get rid of x. If we get rid of x, we are getting rid of a solution. Let me say that one more time. Whenever you get rid of or divide off an x, you are getting rid of one of your possible solutions. Okay, so how do we do this? the correct way. So starting with our 4x squared equals x, we do not want to get rid of that x. Instead, we want to bring it to the other side along with the other x term. So let's subtract that from both sides. We end up then with 4x squared minus x equals 0. And this next step is the most important step. We're going to factor out the left-hand side. Notice that both of those terms have an x in common. Let's factor that x out in front. Here we are not getting rid of it. We are keeping it by factoring out in front. Let's see what we've got left over inside those parentheses. So we want to know x times what gets us to that 4x squared. That would be an x times a 4x. And then we want x times what gets us to the negative x that would be a negative one. We still have our equals zero on the other side. So what we've done is to create this product, something times something equals zero. Well, either of those somethings could be zero. So the x could be equal to a zero. There's one of our solutions. That was the one we missed. Or 4x minus one could be equal to zero. This gives us just a super nice, simple mini equation that we can solve bring the one over to the other side, divide by four, and we get one fourth. So our two solutions are zero and one fourth. You've got this, you are doing great.